Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of maths with Scratch. In this video, I'm excited to bring you a new series for the Scratch project called Space Value, which is a simple game that has a scoring system that focuses on place value. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, here we are at the Scratch project page for the Space Value. So what I'm going to do now is just walk you through a demo of how this game is going to work. Uh, the instructions tell us that we have 30 seconds to use the mouse to pop as many space objects as you can, and you receive points for each uh, popped object. Good luck, Space Cadet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to press this green flag, and a bunch of space objects are going to appear on the screen and they're going to have some values attached to them. So there'll be some sort of unit values, some tens, some hundreds, and some thousands. Um, there's four objects and there are four place value columns. So what I'll do is I will press the green flag and then I'll press on a couple of them and I want you to watch what happens to our score down here and also the score up in the top left hand corner. So here we go. So we've got a balloon there, I click that. Click the uh, planet, missed it, there's a sun, I clicked another planet, there's a star. Okay, now hopefully you can sort of see that we, uh, our values are changing here. So our pop balloon, uh, we get one more val one more unit increase. We increase our thousands, I popped another balloon, we're up to four now, pop another one, we're up to five. You can see that our score is also updating and that is just a combination of all of our place values here. So this would be our, um, expanded notation and this would be our whole number representation. All right, we've run out of time. So my final score here was 3,145. So our job is going to be to use a project starter uh, based on space value. So I'm gonna flick across to that one and show you where we're gonna be jumping in from. So as you can see, it's all the same uh, here, but the note is this game is incomplete and it is a project to remix. You can find the working game. Well, I'll give you that one. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll press the green flag and the space objects will still appear. We will still have a game timer, but you'll notice that these will not update these place value columns here. So let's have a look at that. Green flag is pressed. There's a balloon. We're popping away. Oh man, I'm doing all this like awesome effort, like getting all these. I'm gonna run on here. I'm getting everything on the screen. There's one behind, I missed one there. Oh well. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Like nothing's updating. Wow, frustrating. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, our job is going to be to connect it. So when we pop one of these space objects, we want, firstly, our place values to update. And then we're gonna get this score uh, board up here in the top left-hand corner working. So that's going to be what we're going to be doing in this uh, series. There'll be two videos to help us do that. Um, and for educators out there, there's going to be a bunch of supporting resources to show you how you can help your students along with that one. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know when I make the next one, then hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'm off to go catch a wave. Take it easy.